Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another Q&A video. I figured, considering I haven't done them in quite a long time, I should make some, you know, this week. So, I made one yesterday, you're going to get this one today. So, hopefully you like it, I know a lot of you guys like these videos because you can send in your questions you can have your questions answered in the video and theorized about so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any dc tv videos later this year all right so sorry if there's any background noise there is some construction going on so there may be occasional sounds that you hear in the background but i'll do my best to edit it out and so the first question comes from Lantian Dragon and I apologize if I butcher anyone's name I know it's very possible that I do that every time I do this so I'm very sorry you can correct me in the comments if you really want to but anyway so the first question is from him or her and they say I'd really like to see another episode or an entire prequel show with young Kara and young Alex in season 6 I believe there's so much to be told from the teenage and young adult days so I think you're completely right I think we should see at least another episode because you know we have seen them return but they've never had like one proper episode since that big mid -Vale episode which I really loved I thought the mid -Vale episode was like one of the best episodes that season when it came out I think it was like two seasons ago if I am not wrong but yeah so young Alex and young Kara there is a lot to explore there I think we had a lot of teasers for that and maybe we could get like a full on show but I doubt it because that will be like Smallville all over again and I don't think they want to do that. Maybe sometime in the future but I think another episode would be a good fit. I think lots of people will want to see that. It would be amazing and I would totally, you know, be rooting for that if that did happen. Alright, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Marcus Barras on YouTube who asks, Will Andrea Rojas and William Day return as series regulars in Season 6? Okay, so we don't know as to specifically who is returning and for how much they're returning. Seems as they were series regulars or they were recurring like a lot. You would hazard the guess that they would be returning next season. So I'm presuming that both Andrea, played by Julie, and William played by Staz, I'm presuming both of those two actors and characters are going to be returning because, you know, William's still got that thing going on with Kara, is that going to be a thing? Like, is Kara actually going to be with William this season? Are they properly going ahead with that? Which they kind of set up last season but they never went ahead with. And then you've got Julie and, you know, she plays Andrea and she's in charge of Obsidian and Catco at the moment so I don't see them just throwing those two characters out the way or any of the potentially smaller characters quote unquote they're not small but you know they're not Alex Danvers or Cara Danvers essentially is what I'm saying so we'll have to wait and see let's move on to the next question the next question comes from Johnny the Berry on YouTube who asks will Miss Martian appear in Superman and Lois cause in the animated Young Justice series didn't she and Superboy have some bond. So I referenced Young Justice and I referenced Superboy yesterday in yesterday's video but I saw this question and I thought I should actually include it as it's an interesting question because I've had a lot of these to do with Miss Martian and Superman Lois because Miss Martian does have a connection normally to Superman. Obviously on our show Miss Martian has more of a connection to Martian Manhunter in Supergirl. So that sort of led me to question will she actually show up. Then bringing up the point to do with Superboy and the bond they had in Young Justice if they introduced Superboy via Superman and Lois that would make total sense if Miss Martian was to appear in Superman and Lois however in the TV show it is currently different because Miss Martian does have some form of a relationship with Martian Manhunter although it's kind of up in the air right now they did kiss like a couple of times before so we'll have to wait and see but for now, I would say there is probably a chance. However, there is more of a connection to the Supergirl show than to Superman in the Arrowverse. So we'll have to wait and see. Alright, so another question comes from Shuby on YouTube who asks, Is Mixie coming back? I've had this question a few times. I've answered some of you guys. Mixie is coming back. He was confirmed when he was cast to be a recurring character. Therefore, meaning he could recur at any point when the writers and the showrunners want to bring him back. And so Thomas Lennon, I think the actor's name is, he is actually set to come back whenever 
you know, he is told, basically. And so, yeah, Mixie will return, so no worries about that. Now let's move on to the next question. This comes from Fiction Master 101 on YouTube who asks, Will Superman team up with The Flash occasionally from now on? Also, they have a few more questions which we'll go to in a minute. So, will Superman team up with The Flash occasionally? Like I've said, you know, a lot recently regarding Stargirl and crossing over with other shows because we've had lots of questions around that. There is definitely a chance with Superman having his own show that there will be team-ups with other shows. Most likely The Flash, very likely Supergirl. Because after all, Superman and Lois is a spin-off of Supergirl as Supergirl's first spin-off. So, you know, there's probably going to be some sort of crossover whether it's Supergirl or not or whether it's some smaller characters in the shows. They're going to probably cross over, but yeah, I would say it's very likely that Superman and The Flash will cross over because they're two of the biggest characters on DC TV right now. Obviously, you've got Supergirl as well to throw in the mix, but Superman is like one of the biggest characters ever, and he's very popular. Lots of people like Tyler Hoechlin, everyone likes Grant Gustin, so I don't see why Superman and Flash wouldn't team up, and I think it will happen. Maybe occasionally, maybe once every few years. Just, they might have their own small crossover, but definitely, obviously, they're going to cross over in the big crossovers, so there's no doubt about that. So, yeah, we'll see them team up sometimes. Alright, moving on to the next question. Is Supergirl meeting the new Batwoman, and will they write Kate came back into the story? So, yeah, two kind of separate questions, but Supergirl meeting the new Batwoman. She would definitely meet the new Batwoman, but I don't know at what point. I don't know... If we have to wait for the next big crossover, apparently we won't get a big crossover this year. We may get a smaller crossover and maybe that's why Supergirl will meet the new Batwoman. But I don't know specifically the point. And I don't know if the new Batwoman is going to become Batwoman straight away. Or is she going to have to work towards Batwoman? Because, you know, there's going to be the storyline of Kate Kane, she's disappeared. Now Ryan Wilder is going to become the new Batwoman, take over the mantle whilst Kate is gone. So, Kate is not going to be reintroduced to the story because Ruby Rose doesn't want to do the show anymore. She doesn't want to play the character. I think it was just a bit too much, which is understandable. So, we got this new character called Ryan Wilder, who is the new Batwoman, played by Jafisia Leslie. And so, I'm guessing, yeah, Supergirl's going to meet her at some point. It'll probably be in the next crossover. It won't be before then, and we don't know at what point Ryan Wilder is going to become Batwoman. Maybe not even by the time of the next crossover, or maybe she's already, you know, like in the first few episodes. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, so Kate also is not going to be written back into the story. Just not going to happen. Alright, let's move on to the next question. How will they discover the new multiverse? Okay, so we've been theorizing about this since Crisis because Crisis set up the idea that there is a whole new multiverse out there. There is other Earths that have been essentially reset. And all and most of the Earths that weren't destroyed that were part of the old multiverse have combined to create Earth Prime. So, you know, we've got Supergirl on the same Earth as the Flash and everything now because that's Earth Prime that is a mixture of lots of different worlds. So things have changed. And there is a multiverse out there because it was confirmed in Crisis. Our characters don't know that yet. Only the audience knows that as of right now. And so they have to figure out a way to intertwine all of this. I think Eric Wallace, the showrunner of The Flash, recently talked about Stargirl crossing over, which is another question from Fiction Master 101, which literally comes next. And so I'm going to combine these questions. So if they team up with Stargirl, who is in fact on another Earth, and she's coming to the CW in Season 2, she's a part of the Arrowverse, it's been confirmed back in Crisis. And what would happen was maybe one of the characters would find out about the multiverse out there and they would definitely have the ability to try and travel. I'm guessing the travel is very similar to how it would have been before so maybe Cisco comes up with something, finds a new way to breach across and it will definitely happen very very soon. I'm guessing sometime this season, I'm not sure if it's going to be straight away or probably be towards you know the next crossover when that's going to be or towards the end of the season because I don't think that's going to be a priority straight away. So yeah, I think Stargirl can cross over with any of the shows. They first need to discover the new multiverse first though, so that's a fact. 
All right, let's move on to the final question. This comes from Yasin Ali on YouTube who asks, do you think Supergirl will feel like she is in Superman's shadows after the show comes out? So if you're talking specifically about Supergirl in the TV show, like the character, Supergirl isn't gonna feel overshadowed by Superman because they've simultaneously existed in that specific world for a long time. He was just in Metropolis being Superman. She was in National City being Supergirl and she never felt kind of belittled by him like in his shadow so I don't see why it would change now and just because he has a show definitely not because Smallville is going to be a big thing Superman and Lois are moving to Smallville in their new show he's not going to be in Metropolis he's going to be protecting Smallville so definitely no shadow for Supergirl because she's protecting a whole city and he's just protecting like a small town so yeah that's not going to be the case but good question so that's it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, share this video around, and also remember if you want to be featured in one of these videos, go over to the new post that will be up by the time this video is up, and leave your comment, theory, question or idea, so you can be featured in one of these Q&A videos very, very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.